don't know if this was our best idea, Mindy. Well, I didn't really want to barge into an episode, but it's time to make a big splash. I'm not sure what kind of fish are out here, but this challenge is going to be a whale of a time. As you may have guessed, this month's challenge involves water. Maybe not as much water that's here at Lake McBride, but the students at Lemmy Elementary had in this challenge the opportunity to build and test boats made for Sphero robots. Now, if you haven't been to Sphero EDU, you should really check it out. It's a free online resource and has a ton of activities for teachers to use. Yes, this is where this month's challenge came from. You'll see third grade students working on creating and modifying prototypes. They first tested things out in a small tub inside the classroom and then took it outside into kiddie pools out in the yard. And what's really creative about this challenge is all the redesigned usage of old materials like pool noodles and bubble wrap and cups, all kinds of things. The students really utilize their creativity when going into problem solving with this challenge because did you know it's really hard to keep things together when they're wet? Yeah, you really need to think about your design process because you know what, tape is not going to be your friend in this challenge. The other thing to consider is where you're actually going to put the Sphero at within your boat because the Sphero is going to act like a motor. And in this specific challenge, the students had an extra layer of they had to be able to hold weight. Specifically for this class, 20, 20 pennies. pennies. So it might also be helpful to take a look at some videos or some um, images of boats to kind of see how they work and where you'd actually find the motor in that boat. Good tip. Thank you. There's lots of different ways that you can take on this challenge. For example, maybe you're gonna try to add some more weight into your boat and do a weight test. Or for speed. Or for accuracy. Maybe you'll have like a dock set up that the boats need to drive up to. Or maybe you just need to try and get that boat to float and that could be your no tech option float your boat. I like, yeah. it. I like it. Now, as always, we love to see what you create from our challenge and how you get inspired by these students' creations. So please send in either pictures or video of your boats in action. And, and as, as always, always, have, have fun, fun making. Uh, a boat. boat. A boat. What are you making a boat? How to hold 20 pennies. 20 pennies at least. And what are you exploring to make your boat up? See if bubble wrap will hold bubble wrap. And we're trying to see if we can put weight on this a bit. And what else are you working with? So it looks like you've got some bubble wrap, maybe some tape. No, we just we're using this to hold the pennies. Well, we're trying to build a boat that can hold 20 pennies and drive around using this, a Sphero. Have you ever worked with a Sphero before? Uh, no. I have. I have. Well, those two have, but I I'm pretty sure I have. we haven't. Well, I have to take practice for it. And so you got a box of stuff. What's it, what was in your box? We had some, uh, we had a, a cut cereal box, five rubber, well, seven rubber bands, an empty milk jug, four of these cups, a ruler, and some straws. Balloons, straws, balloons, cups, and um, pieces of noodles, which are very helpful. This and rubber bands, basically. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to connect another rubber band and cut it. So it connects with that, and then at this, we... We set Spiro. it on the rubber band, and it like if we if I move this, the rubber band would go with it. So maybe you would move the boat when it moves. What do you like so far about this challenge? Um, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. It's super duper tricky. Yeah. Here, but then how would it roll? Here, the balloon will hold the balloon. Yeah, 
sphere, and the sphere could go inside of it, as, and then it could still roll. And so the boat, we haven't really figured out how it's going to tip. So we're going to put the 20 pennies on this side, so then that'll sort of even it out. Then we're going to put the um, sphero in here, then it can go this way. We're also making accelerators in case our boat runs out. We're making balloons so that we can make the extra motor. Oh, oh, and we came up with an idea. We're going to cut out the bottom and then put the bottom of your own. In? In? In. Yeah. in. Like half in, half sticking out. Yeah. So oh. it can still spin freely, but the pennies stay in. Yeah. Cut. Yeah, Wait, let's mark you guys it. When it's in the water. Yeah, it will still spin. Wait, let's just take Well, don't you dare let that go. Just tie it, you guys. Do I have the best idea right now? So, so we're putting so a penny in a balloon. In a balloon. And then we're trying to wrap we're trying to like put some make some tiny thingy majig so we can put this thing on the jig. So I have an idea though. So then how is your boat gonna carry these pennies? The pennies are in here. Oh, the pennies are in the balloon. Okay. Then we're going to tape the bottom of the boat. The, the tape is not going because the ruler is wet. The ruler is wet, so it's hard to get the tape to stick something wet, isn't it? Here, why don't is off to a great start so I'm pretty sure this is gonna succeed but we never know